So I guess you're wondering how you cut a 72 pin wheel. Now you get your bit of brass, you have a holder here, which you put the brass into. It's held by the centre hole. You screw it in like that. So there's your wheel in the holder. That then gets put into the chuck of a dividing head. This here is a dividing head. Yeah. Close the chuck like that. So there it is in the chuck. The idea of the dividing head is as you turn the crank handle here As you turn the handle here, for every 40 turns of the crank handle, you get one rotation of the chuck. So you can have a cutting gear which cuts the first tooth. You then rotate this round to the next position, cut the second tooth, and round you go until you've cut all 72. And in theory, when you get to the last tooth, it will be right in the right place. So this is a universal dividing head. It has um, graduations around the chuck, which means if you had simple divisions like 1 to 12, uh, or fractions of that, you can set it into this mode, and as you rotate the crank, it locks it into place. You take your cut and then you rotate to the next one. In this case if we were doing 12 teeth you would rotate around and then there we go you're in the next position and so on. You just go around like that and there we have it. That's very well if you've got uh, simple divisions to do but in our case 72. How do heck do you do that? Well on the side here you have a disc and on the disc there are um, array of pattern of holes and there are numbers of holes for each um, uh, rotation here you've got on this one you've got 21 holes going around and you've got 23 holes 27 holes 29 holes, 31 and 33 holes. And by doing a bit of maths, um, you can work out how much of a rotation you have to do to go round your 72 teeth um, from one tooth to the next. So it's 40 turns for a complete rotation. So for um, a 70 tooth of a rotation, you divide 40 by 72 and that gives you 0 0.55555 which just happens to be 5 ninths so for one tooth you would rotate this 5 ninths of a rotation of the crank handle so how do you do that accurately well the end of the crank handle has got a pin and that will go into one of the holes on the circle. So what you have to find is a circle of holes which is a division of nine. So we want five ninths. Um, so you look for something which has either nine holes, it could have 18 holes, 36 holes, 54 holes, something that you can then divide. And looking at the discs I have, this dividing head comes with a series of discs with different number uh, different uh, circles of holes on each disc um, and it just so happens the last disc I pick up here has got 18 holes so for 18 holes um, you need to move the pin on the end of this crank um, 10 holes and that is equivalent to 5 ninths of a rotation 
So let's change the disc here to this one and we can get going. So first of all, oh, right. first of all the crank handle comes off. There's the pin which goes in and out by this pulling at the top. Next you can take this. This here is the dividing point so that you're going to move 10 holes exactly each time you can put the pin in the first hole here count round 10 and set this to there. And if that was 10 for this example, you would then rotate around to there, and that's your five ninths of a turn. Cut your tooth, then you swing that round till it hits the pin, and then you're ready to go around another 10 till the, you hit the barrier there. So that way you can guarantee you're going to get 10 holes all the way around. So you cut it move it around another 10 and away you go. So that's how that works. So this goes off here and you can just change that to whatever you want with it without by change um, by moving the Allen key and that will rotate around to what you want. So first of all we'll take this old disc off. comes off, there's the old disc. This is the new disc with 18 holes. This is the first time I've actually used this, so uh, we're all learning today. Well, some are learning, some already know this, and this is probably um, granny teaching to suck eggs, but I know there's a lot here that are probably interested to see how this works. that on. Now we put the, the guide bars back on All right. and then here you can put the index arm back on and you can set it to the one that's 18 pins. There's marks at the top there that show where it is so I'll put that in the 18 pin there so I know that's the right height and then I can screw that on like that so 
going around from the top we have one two holes three four five six seven eight nine ten you cut your tooth and you just swing this around and you go around again yeah. as you can see that is five ninths of a turn just over half and that's how it works cut your tooth slide it around slide it around until that hits there, there is there. Cut your next tooth. And that's how you do it. Rotate and cut until you've done it 72 times. And in theory, this will rotate five ninths of a turn. With the handle every 72 times, and we should end up back to where we began with, with 72 pins. So that's the dividing head. Um, let's set it up and uh, see what happens. But before I do um, the maths, yes, uh, you can do it by calculating like I did. Otherwise, you can get the good old machinery's handbook. Um, this is the 18th edition, 1970. And you look up on the chart here for 72 pins and it says you can have it as it's offering 36 holes and 20 holes well I don't have a 36 uh, circle of holes but I do have an 18 set so that's why I chose 18 and therefore it would be 10 holes rather than 36 and 20 Equal, either way that gives you 5 ninths of a turn so that's the machinery's handbook very very useful and good bedside reading for those who can't sleep at night so I hope you will all join me in the next video to watch me make a wheel for the moon phase grandfather clock it will certainly be fun uh, doing all this for the first time so please subscribe to my channel and then you'll get notified when it comes out so thank you all for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.